let's talk about TVs, shall we? Um, so TV in the bedroom, right there. The remote control for it is right here. It is a smart TV, so you see the functions there, and I'll uh, I'll go over those with you uh, on the other uh, TV in the front. Um, if we want to see where the TVs for the bunk beds are, there's the TVs, the actual TVs right there, and then the uh, remote controls for them. There's a little net at the back, uh, and we put them in there right uh, for you for safekeeping. Again, it is a smart TV. Um, talking about smart TVs, when I move into the front here, um, smart TVs for internet. A lot of campsites will advertise that they have internet, and they do. Is the internet fast enough, though, for streaming? In most cases, no, it's not. Uh, so my recommendation is to not rely on it. Um, it will be better at certain times of the day when people haven't woken up yet or, you know, people have gone to bed. It will definitely be faster. Um, but um, during the day, it, it can be frustrating. That's been my experience so far. Uh, so right quick, um, I'm going to turn this on. Okay, and you'll see it coming on uh, right there. Um, so what else can I tell? Oh, so in that case, uh, you don't want to trust the internet. So it's a good idea to bring your own hotspot. Um, now, for I've tried it a couple of times uh, to connect my hotspot on my phone to the TVs. And I wasn't getting much luck using my phone. I don't know why, but once I used a dedicated hotspot, uh, it was fine and I was able to connect. You can rent hotspots from us um, if you want them. I will warn you though, streaming uses an awful lot of data. And depending on how much streaming you're doing, you could get through more than your allowance of data. And even though our plans that we have are unlimited, what they don't tell you um, is that they throttle back the speed. So you're still getting unlimited data for your streaming, but they throttle back the speed and therefore they become useless. So if you're going to use TVs, my recommendation, um, if you're going to stream, is to keep it to a minimum and keep it to when you absolutely want it. Um, these TVs are smart TVs, so you have that option. You also have the option, so that's, you know, I'm here at the remote control. If I press Netflix, it goes to Netflix, um, you know, Hulu, and all these different platforms. Also, uh, for the antenna, you have that option here, and that but it, that's this button here, okay? So you press that button here, and now it's going to the antenna, and um, you can uh, watch uh, programs there, uh, and that's it in, the, in that uh, mode there. Uh, next, I wanted to talk to you about cable. So a lot of campgrounds advertise cable. And I've had probably a mixed experience with the cable. Sometimes they advertise it, but then for some reason when I always try and use it, it's not available or they have a problem with it. Um, so try and connect to the cable. Um, when you connect, on this wall here, can you see these buttons here? So what you want to do is you want to play with these by pressing those buttons, see the light went out? Because what you're uh, doing is your cable, when you connect it, and I'll show you where the connection is, uh, you, you need to play with these buttons here to get a signal. And let me show you where you actually connect to the cable beautiful day here so right oh I extended the slide um, <laughs> but I don't know if you can see it um, this is the electric bay but right about there there's actually the cable adapter and there's also a, um, a power 
outlet there as well. So my recommendation if you have a campsite with a cable is go ahead and connect your cable. Try and see if you're getting a signal straight away. If you don't get a signal straight away, then um, go ahead and press those buttons that I showed you. And if that still doesn't work, contact the uh, office to see if there's a problem on their end and if they can show you how to work it. Uh, okay, I hope that helps you with the TV side of things. Thanks, guys.